Independent Senator Jackie Lambie, seen here waiting for a brain transplant, has launched her own political party, meaning you can now vote for her special brand of idiocy above the line. The party is called the Jackie Lambie Network, presumably because the reject shop was already taken. It's expected to be the most incompetent network since this one. Lambie is reportedly seeking candidates with like-minded views, which is just what Australian politics needs. More people who think like Jackie Lambie. Well, I think um, when it comes to um, Shari, Shari Law, um, you know, to me, it's, um, it's uh, it obviously involves terrorism. The idea of naming a network after yourself is nothing new, of course. Just ask this woman who did it. And Jackie, I want you to really listen. The idea of creating a network was something that I'd wanted to do. Had I known that it was this difficult, uh, I might have done something else. Now, I'm not saying you should do something else, Jackie, but Oprah is. Are you saying you're better than Oprah? Because you're not! Lambie joins other federal politicians who've launched their own parties, including the There's Nothing Gay About a Cowboy Hat Party and the Hey, At Least I'm Not the Most Ridiculous Politician Anymore Party. Wait, that's not what we normally show. Where's the clip I like? <laughs> Some people say I play that clip too much and I should give the guy a break. To those people I say, play the clip! <laughs> As you can see from her website, Lambie's already ditched the Palmer yellow in favour of orange, making her the first person to change colour since Michael Jackson. She already has a logo which features the map of Tasmania tattooed with the Southern Cross like some sort of, oh I don't know, Jackie Lambie supporter. Senator Lambie says that she's putting Tasmania first. Unless of course you live on Flinders Island or King Island, in which case you can fuck off. Lambie has announced her party has 12 core beliefs, narrowly outnumbering Bill Shorten's core beliefs by 12. Aww. People have until the end of next month to lodge objections to Lambie's application, and those can be sent to the AEC's Funding and Disclosure Branch, or FAD, the Australian Electoral Commission there, doing my job for me. I can think of one organisation that might have an objection, the Palm United Party, who are suing Ms Lambie and former pup senator Glenn Lazarus, making Palmer United the most inaccurate name since I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. <laughs> The two senators, seen here looking slightly less cartoonish, are accused of breaking their promise to represent Palm United for the full six-year term, with the party's director Peter Burke saying, Australians are tired of politicians saying one thing before an election and then breaking their promises afterwards. Unlike Clive Palmer, who stayed true to his election promise of bringing people together by suing them. The Palm United Party says it spent $7 million on Senator Lazarus's Queensland election campaign and more than $2 million getting Senator Lambie elected in Tasmania, proving that Australian taxpayers aren't the only ones whose money has been wasted on these two. But can you put a price on the worst senators in Australian history? Yes, it's $9 million. And based on this campaign advertisement, I think we can all agree the money's right there on the screen. Under Labor, we'll never know who's running the show next. Authorised by Clive Palmer for the Palmer United Party Brisbane. But what's more stupid, that commercial or the fact people voted for them? Nevertheless, I understand Palmer has already found two equally qualified candidates who've assured him they're well and truly committed to the colour yellow. <laughs> We'll never notice the difference! For The Roast and Guardian Australia, I'm Mark Humphreys. Bananas in pyjamas are coming down the stairs. Mandatory data retention has passed the Senate, meaning there's now a bigger threat to Australian journalism than the Daily Telegraph. 